Well, today is a class that we call Fire Ops. It's for elected officials and uh, folks from the media. And really what we want to do is give them a feel for some of the work we do, how hard it is, how important safety considerations are. Today we've had four scenarios. One simulates venting a, a roof in a uh, three-decker. We had a forcible entry prop where uh, the, the participants had to force a commercial door. We had a rescue of a trapped firefighter in the basement. We had a live fire. Uh, in a container that you can see behind me here. And then lastly, we did an EMS activity with a victim trapped in a car that they needed to extricate and then treat and transport. But if we'd like to go right inside to the auditorium, grab a seat, and we'll get the program started. Thank you all for coming. We want to push you a little bit, but we're not going to you know, get, get to a point where you're, you know, you're not going to be feeling well. We want this to be a positive experience for you. We've done several of these in our state with elected and appointed officials from across the state, and the response has been incredible, both on both sides. The testimonials that we hear, um, you know, as we work through the process, either in the legislature or locally, uh, this is worth its weight in gold. If you want to turn your packs over so the bottle is top side up, the Scott type RSCBA is a positive pressure uh, breathing apparatus in order to get the proper seal and allow air to pressurize the mask and keep, keep the contaminants out. We need that seal. That is another reason why firefighters cannot wear beards. We need to be clean shaven in order to get a proper seal. All right, this station is going to be divided. We're going to take two individuals here, and two individuals are going to go to the forcible entry prop around the corner with uh, firefighter Dan Rinaldi and firefighter Dan Broder. The class is really geared to, for decision makers and people that report on the fire department. So we have uh, Mayor Tavares, a number of his staff, uh, we have the Commissioner of Public Safety, some of his staff, and as well as a number of members from Netroots Nation, which is a, a national progressive blogging and, and other uh, activities related to the progressive movement that are having the convention in town. So it was a, a huge opportunity for us to engage with them um, and, and give them a, some exposure to what the fire department actually does and how hard the work is. It's been a tremendous challenge today. We're going up on a roof, going up on the ladder, trying to... Uh, make a hole in the roof, trying to make sure that the person who's with you stays with you, uh, rescuing someone uh, in a burning bed. I mean, it's just been a tremendous challenge. We did the rescue of the person in the bed. We knew what the layout was, essentially. So it's a lot different in that situation. There you go. We just tried to do a uh, resuscitate someone who was in a car uh, accident. And uh, as the uh, firefighters let us know, it's very different when you have people who are yelling and screaming around you. It's amazing some of the things uh, that we've experienced, you know, simulated fires, uh, real fires, trying to search uh, in a basement with uh, a simulated smoke that gives you zero vi visibility. I've uh, been here since uh, 9 o'clock doing four evolutions and it's pretty exhausting. You do get an appreciation for whatever profession that you go and you spend a half a day or a few hours with. When you have your, your, your eyes taken from you and you can't see and you're, on, you're, you're crawling looking for a victim down in the basement and you're trying to pull some tools and holding on, holding on to, the, uh, to the line so you know where you are, you don't get lost. And that was my first evolution, and that was probably the most difficult. I do think that it gives me a little better sense, um, better, not, not the same, better, better sense uh, as to what they go through. So I'm glad I did this and appreciate their, uh, all of their help and all the hard work. So overall, you would say the event was a success? Yeah, I think it's an overwhelming success. It's something that we're going to do again.